shortly after Leonard Goldenson consummated the deal about to buy ABC, uh, he called Dr. Dumont and said, I'd like to see you, I'd like to have a talk with you. Can you come to my office? Uh, we'll have dinner. Uh, he had a private dining room. In the, he was still in the Paramount building. And uh, Doc called me and said, uh, Leonard Goldenson would like to see us. And I said, fine. So we went, and it was rather an interesting dinner. It happened to be at the time of the Jewish High hol Holy Days. And Leonard Goldenson was serving a kosher meal in uh, his private dining room at United Paramount Theaters. And Doc had never experienced a kosher meal before and was very curious about the whole thing. Anyway, after we had dinner, um, Goldenson, who had with him his attorney, Sid Markley, and Bob Kintner, who was head of their, the network, said, um, I have a proposal for you gentlemen. I think we ought to stop kicking each other's ears off. There isn't room for four networks in uh, the structure, the allocation structure. He said, why don't we merge ABC and Dumont? He said, we'll take over all your programs, all of your liabilities, network liabilities, and all we ask for is an affiliation with your station in Pittsburgh. You'll continue to operate your own and operated stations, New York, Washington, and Pittsburgh, and we'll affiliate with Pittsburgh. We'll pay you $5 million, and we'll change the name of the network knowing that you want to keep the Dumont name out front to sell television sets. We'll call it the ABC Dumont Network for a period of not less than five years. What do you think of that deal? And Doc said, well, I don't know. He turned to me and said, uh, let's, let's you and I talk about this. So we left. And um, oh, Doc said, we have to put this before our board of directors. And Doc asked me to make the presentation to the Dumont board of this proposal, which I was completely in favor of, because it, it got us off the hook. We were talking about closing the network, took all our liabilities for programming and everything else, contracts, and gave us $5 million in funds. And we continue to operate our stations. I said, this, this is save your time, Doc. We should do this. And he said, all right, you present it to the board. And I did. Paramount directors of Dumont reacted almost explosively when I presented the deal. I remember Paul Rayburn said, Leonard Goldenson used to be Barney's office boy, and anything he wants and is willing to pay for is worth a lot more than he's willing to pay for. We're going to vote against this. He uh, said, but if we do a complete professional study of the Dumont Network and what it's worth, uh, and we offer it at that price to Goldenson, we might consider it. So that ended the immediate acceptance of the proposal, and we brought in Booz Allen Hamilton to do a study of the Dumont Network, and they came up with exactly the same conclusions that I had previously presented to the board on what was happening with the network. And, but by that time, there, there, it took them three or four months to come up with this study. And by that time, the offer from Leonard Goldenson had expired. He wasn't interested. 
anymore.